Decathlon has withdrawn kayaks from its stores in Carle and Dunkirk to deter migrants from using them to cross the channel. It comes after three people were reported missing after attempting to cross one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. The French sporting goods retailer has said it does not want to put customers at risk. In a statement published by La Voix du Nord, Decathlon said, The recent increase in crossing attempts has led our teams at Decathlon Carlet to question the position to be taken on the sale of products that can be diverted from their sporting use and used as boats to cross the channel. We are committed to never putting our customers at risk when using our products. Whatever the circumstances, the retailer justified withdrawal of the products by explaining that their use could endanger the lives of the people using them in the context of a crossing. A store in the Grand Sindar of Dunkirk also removed kayaks from its shelves last Friday. However, the sale of safety equipment at sea, including life jackets and thermal protection, continues. The decision came after a journalist reportedly saw migrants buying equipment including oars and a light boat in Decathlon's shop in the Calaux area of Carle which is about 20 miles away from Dover. French news channel LCI reports three deaths so far this year with three disappearances on 11 November bringing the missing persons total to four. It adds that six people died last year with three reported missing. This includes a 28-year-old Sudanese man who drowned off Sangat after trying to cross on an inflatable mattress equipped with oars bought in a discount shop in Kala. In total, 1,185 migrants made the crossing last Thursday, bringing the total since the start of the year to 22,000. Two kayaks were found adrift off the coast of Kala last Thursday with two migrants rescued by French police, the newspaper 20 Minutes reports. Bernard Barron who is president of the National Sea Rescue Society, SNSM, in Carlet Old Lavoix du Nord newspaper, those who use these boats, which are less numerous than those equipped with engines, are not associated with a smuggling network. They buy an inflatable kayak for three people for 300 euros. We picked up quite a few migrants and difficulty on kayaks last summer. The Carlet SNSM was at sea trying to find the three missing men last week. A kayak is like a flea in the middle of a motorway, undetectable, migrants Abdel, 17, and Mamadal, 18, told the same newspaper they felt convinced rowing across the English Channel is possible despite the currents. They said, we're pooling our resources to buy equipment, if the boat turns over, we will end up swimming, we'll make it, god willing. Decathlon's move comes as new analysis by the Refugee Council shows most people arriving by small boats across the channel are refugees fleeing persecution, contradicting an assertion made by Home Secretary Preeti Patel. She told the House of Lords Justice and Home Affairs Committee in October that data showed 70% of people coming to the UK illegally via small boats are effectively economic migrants and not genuine asylum seekers. The report entitled An Analysis of Channel Crossings and Asylum Outcomes is based on Freedom of Information Data and Home Office Statistics covering January 2020 to June 2021. It finds that 91% of people came from just 10 countries where the Refugee Council describes human rights abuses and persecution as common. These include Afghanistan, Iran, Syria, Iraq, Sudan, Eritrea and Yemen. Enver Solomon chief exec of the Refugee Council, said, this government should show compassion by welcoming those who need refugee protection rather than seeking to cruelly push them back across the channel or punish them with imprisonment. At the same time there needs to be an ambitious expansion of safe routes so people don't have to take dangerous journeys to reach safety. According to the Home Office 98% of people coming across the channel apply for asylum, a Home Office spokeswoman said. The UK has a long history of welcoming those in genuine need and this is at the heart of our new plan for immigration. But we must put an end to dangerous journeys, facilitated by violent criminal gangs profiting from misery. Our plan provides the only long-term solution to fix the broken system and that's why we're changing the law to deter illegal entry and break the deadly business model of the people smugglers.